One evening, in the Democratic People's Republic of Sodo, several foot soldiers were making dinner for General Topham Hatt. The soldiers were jealous of the good food that the general had got. This jack gets steak. That's not fair. Think that's bad? Look at this crate of chocolate he gets. Come on. He gets steak and chocolate? All we get is soup and some chalky blocks of nutritional supplement. How come he gets all this? It's because he's in charge. I think it's about time we made him regret being such a jerk to us foot soldiers. What are you thinking? Let's spike his drink! Ha! Great idea! I've got some strong stuff stashed here somewhere. General Topham Hatt began to become impatient. Hey boys! You got my dinner ready? What the hell's taking you so long? Just a minute, sir. We're making it extra good. Well, make it snappy! Don't worry, it'll be snappy alright. Alright, I got some. Let's give him a big dose. Ooh, this is gonna be great. After mixing a strong alcoholic concoction, the troublesome foot soldiers gave General Topham Hat his dinner. Here's your dinner, sir. Steak with a side of potatoes. And a bit of beer to drink. It's about time. Cheers to your incompetence. Man, that's some mighty strong. Beer. Pour me some more of that. Yes, sir. General Topham Hatt drank so much of the concoction that he became severely inebriated. After his 15th glass, he lost control of his own mouth. Man, you're just brilliant. I wish all the penguins in this army was just like you. I love you, man. And I done just throw that word around. I really heart you guys. As the evening progressed, the general's rambling started to make less and less sense. One time, there was this monkey. But he was loud, so I had to wear yellow shoes. Eventually, the troublesome soldiers convinced the general to sing a drinking song. Now everybody's died, so until our tears are dried, we'll drink and drink and drink. Of course, the general could only ingest so much of the drink before he became ill. Ew. You know, maybe we made it a little too strong. But the general did not mind. Once he was finished using the restroom, he stumbled out. It's been fun, boys, but if you'll excuse me, I gotta go find me a woman. Topham had wandered through the dark wilderness, searching for a woman. Then, he saw someone who he wanted to talk to. Hey there, baby. You wanna... As he saw that this was not actually a woman did not realize anything other than the fact that he was passing out. He hit the ground with only one thought in his mind. Boots. Das An American! He looks like he's drunk. I wonder what he's thinking about. The next morning, one of the soldiers was manning the base camp radio and he received a transmission from the communists that informed him that the general had been captured and that a ransom was demanded for his safe return. Guys, we are in deep sh The soldier described the general's predicament to his comrades. Oh my god, what should we do? We should just run and hide! We're gonna be court-martialed! No! This is our fault, and if we run, we're just betraying our country even more. We need to learn our lesson and try to right our mistake. And learn they did. The soldiers ventured out alone toward the commie base. They looked from a distance to try to find a way into the prison block. Hey, look at those pennies or manholes leading up to the prison block. There must be some kind of sewer we can access. The soldiers climbed down into the sewers and found their way to General Topham Hatt's cell. He was very happy to see them. <laughs> 
Yeah, gross. As the soldiers got the general and carried him down into the sewer, the communists found out what was happening. A squad of communist soldiers jumped down into the sewer and opened fire. Quick, run while we hold them off. One of the communists threw a grenade. All of the soldiers began to run with the general. When the grenade exploded, it ignited the methane gas in the sewer. The communists were incinerated. The soldiers and the general managed to escape the flaming sewer, but they were no safer for it. Going somewhere, Americans.